now i will work with middleware and show you how to work with the role middleware so in order to create the role middleware i am going to my terminal and here i am going to put my uh, code so here i am going to write php artisan make middleware so php artisan make middleware and then sorry here the spelling mistake middleware okay so here i am going to create my role middleware so role middleware okay so this one so after creating the role middleware so like this what i will do i am just going to press enter and you see that a new middleware has been created i am going to the app http and there is a middleware folder here i am going and you see that here is a new middleware comes that is role middleware.php so this is the code of this middleware file now i will have to register this middleware into my kernel so into the http there is a file that is kernel.php i am going to open that as i have created a new middleware and i will have to add that into the protected middleware allies in this list i will have to create i will have to uh, link that middleware file here you see that a auth middleware uh, code already given that was registered here i am going to copy that code and into the bottom i am going to write it and here instead of auth i am going to put here the role and the middleware name is actually uh, the role middleware this one so uh, this is the path app http middleware and then role middleware and i uh, put it into variable that is role so my registration is complete so my kernel i am going to close the kernel uh, i am going to close some other files here okay so role middleware file is this now what i will actually do i am going to my uh, web dot php here I am just in this file now you see that I already have described uh, this in front of you you see there is there was a auth middleware that was created by the breeze now with that auth because if a person want to access the admin dashboard or vendor dashboard he must have to be authenticated first so this is okay that auth is given here but with that I will have to add the new role middleware here so here i will have to use the role middle sorry i will have to use the role middle here like this but as there are two items now so i will put an array here so i am going to put this as an array elements okay so two middleware will be applied in these files that is role one is what another one is role so the role middleware how it will work i will show you and describe you see that as i have created a role middleware in this middleware i will put some checkings before going it to the next request that means to open the next response if you just want to hit the web.php that means if you want to hit the route in your url then it will first check if it passes the middleware auth and role so in the case of role i will pass some data from here for example this is actually the admin dashboard right so here for the admin the admin i will pass a data from here that is for example admin and in the case of vendor i will pass here the information to the middleware that is vendor so i will have to write admin for in the case of admin and vendor in the case of vendor so i am going to break this into two parts so here one is admin another one is vendor in the case of admin i will put the admin dashboard here i am going to remove the vendor from here and in the case of role vendor i will put uh, it here sorry here this one also removed now okay and in the case of role vendor i am going to remove the admin from here and this is the vendor so one uh, one is admin another one is vendor that means if uh, i want to hit admin dashboard this admin will be passed into the middleware so i put the value admin into the role variable so my variable name will be role 
so in this case in the function you see that there is a handle function so here as the third parameter i will call here the role that means into the role variable the value will come there admin or vendor so let's check for admin first so if i want to get access to the admin dashboard then i will have to write the admin here and that will come here into the role variable and in this place i will have to check now something when a user is logged in into the system how i can get the user information if a user comes uh, if, if a user is logged in then i will get his information using the request of user this one and then if i want to get uh, the user name then from the user table i am going to put the name here if i want to get the user email address then i can call like this request user email so in this case i want to use the user role that means if a user is logged in into the system then i will check his role using this and i will check it here like this if a user role is not equal equal the role i am going to pass that means this role variable what will happen for example a user is logged in as vendor uh, but he wants to get access of this url so if he hits admin dashboard then this admin will pass in this role variable but he is logged in as a vendor that means this value is actually vendor so vendor is not equal equal admin right so if this does not match then i can just pass uh, him to the 404 page that means i can call it about 404 that means a 404 error page will be shown in front of him but if everything is okay that means if the admin role uh, if a user is admin that may uh, and he also send this url to the um, send this route to the url that means he want to get access to the dashboard and he is also admin so in the role variable now i will get the admin and the user is logged in as admin so this role will have the value admin so admin is not equal to equal not equal equal admin that means it will not come here just skip this if and it will go here that means it will go to the next request that means he will easily be, uh, be able to access the admin controllers index method that means he will see the view that means this bullet file that i created that is admin dashboard he will be able to access this space so let's check it i am going to check it now so that you can understand so i am going to open here and here login now i want to log in as a vendor so vendor at the rate of gmail.com password is on to 34 login you see that the vendor dashboard is showing that's okay but if i want to get access of the admin dashboard after login as a vendor now put enter you will see there is a 404 page that means my code that i wrote here is working perfectly but after login as a vendor if he if you want to see his pages his own pages like vendor dashboard he will be able to access that page now okay so here i am going to log out okay now login now i will go to login as a admin so admin gmail.com 1234 it will be taken him to this space for example like this and i want to get access admin dashboard you see that it is working but if i want to get access the vendor dashboard after login as the admin you see it is not working so i hope you have understood how it works so in this way we can protect my application creating a middleware and calling that middleware in my route file that means in the web.php in this file